Tuesday night football comes from Silver Jubilee Park as Hendon welcomed Dulwich Hamlet in the Bostock League Premier Division. Dulwich enjoyed a first half to remember on Saturday away to the Met Police, with Reese Alassani continuing his outstanding goal scoring form to net a hat trick as Dulwich ran out 4 1 winners. Tonight they bring back Nathan Green, Ricky Hales, and Ashley Carew, whilst Quay Taylor makes his 50th appearance for the side. Tonight is Hendon's eighth home game in a row, and after a hat trick of cup wins, they were involved in a thrilling match here against Burgess Hill Town at the weekend, and Zach Joseph netted an injury time free kick to help them draw 2 2. They bring in Casey McLaren and Jake Eggleton for Michael Corcoran and Channing Campbell Young. The Greens inflicted Dulwich's most recent league defeat back in September, so can they earn a double over their old rivals, or can Dulwich make it seven league wins in a row? Dulwich have uh, drawn each of the last three visits away to Hendon. Crew winning it back on the edge of the area. Here's Alassani. Don't want to give him too many chances tonight. Real predator in front of goal. His crew again missed the uh, game on Saturday as well. Twisting and turning. Finds a cross eventually towards Ferguson. And it's come through to Sanchez. Ming! Blazes over. Went for power rather than placement. It did take a little deflection on its way through, which perhaps carried it over the crossbar. Dulwich had the corner. Ferguson couldn't get the touch, but it came to Ming. And always refers a powerful shot. Hendon. Looking like they want to press Dulles, they don't want them to pass up from the back force. Edwards to play it forward as Green looked to head that on. Beanie wants a free kick, not going to get it. And here comes Zach Joseph, scored that late equaliser at the weekend. Sits past inside for Muir. Is there a shot from him? Yes, there is, and he scores! Dulles backed off him. And the league's top scorer has his 14th of the Bostick campaign. Dulles allowed. Zach Joseph to come on, slipped in the pass to Muir, able to turn as well. And Edwards at full stretch, couldn't keep it out. And it's Hendon who strike early on in this game, just as they did in this fixture last season. More of the action this half of the field so far. Don Jobson to change the end they were going to attack as well. Price kick off, Beanie's given that away, that's sloppy. And Hendon have three up in this attack. Here's Muir again. Another shot, it's charged down by Taylor this time. Here's Zach Joseph. Again, Taylor produces the block. He's done that a few times in recent weeks, Taylor, really throwing his body at goal line shots. Goal bound shots, sorry. And here's Eggleton. Muir again inside the area. Being found in space, more often than not so far. And now Joseph linking up with his strike partner. It's too much on the cross, though. And they can't keep it in play on the far side. Dulwich almost shoots himself in the foot. It was Ke uh, Kenny Beanie with a sloppy pass there. I think we'll take the throw. Good for Ferguson. Fired back into Mink. Can he cross it? Feigns to. Back on the outside, he tries to go Ming. Ferguson now. He does cross eventually towards Alassane. It's over him. Crew's there. 1 1. Dulwich equalises. Ashley Crew with his landmark 50th goal for the club. Free header at the back post. Didn't seem there was much of a chance on. Came through to him. Nodded home from a couple of yards out. Dulwich do respond quickly. And I say 50 up for Crew in pink and blue. Just the 25th player to reach that total since the end of the Second World War. Ferguson found the cross from the wing. Over Alassani it went, and Carew was there to help it over the line from close range. I think Lovelock got a significant touch on it. Is that a foul there? Yes, it is. Ming's been penalised, so another free kick for Hendon in a wide position. Rian Bray. He's going forward, taking it quickly. Dulwich has just switched off. Cutback is on. Ferguson should retrieve for Dulwich, though. Try to turn on the afterburners. Good work from Arthur Lee to mop up. And here's Zach Joseph. A lot of bodies to aim at in the penalty. What a ball that is! It's 2 1. Tremendous cross from Joseph and Dijou powers home a header. The third goal inside 17 minutes in this game. Really flew at the ball there, Dijou. Head of Nessus in the far corner. Dulwich weren't level for too long. Well, Ferguson was dispossessed by Lee. 
Joseph brought it down the right, produced a tremendous cross. And Diju's there to power pass Edwards again. Little he could have done with that. Goals in back-to-back -back games for the midfielder. Eggleton's unopposed for the time being. Joseph. Yup, been busy so far. Linking up with Joseph again. Coming inside, is there a shot for him? There is. Caught by Weatherstone and Taylor between them. Taylor looking to come out of defence of the ball. Ferguson can turn here. Come down this left-hand side for Dulwich. Into the penalty area, is there a cutback? There is. Too much on it though. Ming was the nearest player to it. Far oh, cry from what it was like this stage of the game. On Saturday, those were close to being 3 up by this stage. Offside flag will deny Muir a chance here. Referee's not spotted it. Nah. Hales, the most relieved man there, apologises. Again, just like the chance the other end. It's the uh, bounce that did him. Came a real figure as Hendon stayed up on the final day of the season. Part on that, tight, the part that side which uh, avoided the drop. And here goes Joseph trying to get in. Tussling with Weatherstone. It's come from Muir. Dulwich holding firm for the time being. Ocechi now. Green going in. He said ball was won. Here's Muir. Joseph can cross. Great ball in again. Just needed someone arriving. Nathaniel George and Ocechi were in there, but neither could reach that uh, cross from Zach Joseph. He's having a fine first half. The Hendon number nine. Well, it's own infield, Beanie. It's a take, evasive action there. Oh, that's a, another foul by Ming. Gave away the free kick. Which eventually led to the second goal. And then taking it quickly. Chechi, edge of the area. Is there a shot for him? Goes to reverse ball. Here's Nathaniel George. It's well blocked. Ricky Hales. They're picking these passes out delightfully in this first half. Hales. Had to put in the block there. Spanish defence being open time and time again. Really stretching that back three, the Hendon attack. Yeah. Yeah. Chichi was a foul by Beanie, pushing the back. That's sloppy from Kenny Beanie. And Chichi had got away in any case, but Beanie clearly pushed his man in the back there. Short free kicks on. Joseph. Dulles again slow to react to it. He found the shot. Yes, he can. Edwards gathers. He claimed the second attempt in the end. It was a stinger of a shot from Joseph. Ming slow to go out to him. Joseph almost making Dulles pay. He hasn't been able to get into the game so far. Taylor heads that one down. Green's not there. It's come from Muir. McLaren now. Captain. Joseph, at that shot a moment ago. Nathaniel George, is it his turn to shoot? He does line up the shot that's blazed over, though. Again, a lot of power on the strike. This one won't test Edwards. This is the one from Joseph did a minute ago. Ken Hendon, though, playing some lovely football going forward. Dulwich being penned deep into their own half. And for Crew to bring down, does well, even with the bounce. Two green shirts on him. Dulwich goal scorer, supported by Weatherstone on the far side. Back down the line for Carew again. Ming's come infield to receive it. Turn of pace is good. In comes the cross. And Lovelock gathers. Ferguson loitering. It's better from Dulwich. Haven't done that too often in this first half. Cargbo's okay to rejoin. Edwards looking for Green. Coming off the flank. Heads that infield. Beyond Carew it goes. McLaren. Again, Muir happy to chase. Hells has made a mistake there. Muir went down. Referee thought about it and gives the penalty. 
Well, I wasn't sure if Muir maybe had jumped over the challenge from Edwards. Referee with a uh, decision to make now. It's going to produce a card for Edwards here. Muir going through. Hales misread the bounce. Muir skipped over the keeper. Not sure how much contact there was. Enough for the referee to decide it was a penalty, though. This could be a real blow for Dulwich on the stroke of half time. Edwards has booked them. Muir will take this. Scored just the one penalty this season. The penalty that Hendon have scored actually. It came from him. Already scored one tonight, it's 20th of the season. Can he make it 21? Yes, he can. Emphatically done. And Hendon will have a two goal cushion going into half time. Nico Muir with his second of the evening. Hendon lead by three goals to one. And it's been an excellent first half from them in truth. Edwards went to his right, Muir went to his left. Dulwich with a lot of work to do in the second half of this game. Then George can't keep that in play. Dulwich really do need to regroup now. Gonna have one minute added on. Green allowing the ball to bounce. There's always a risk on this surface. The shot from distance comes in from Joseph. It was ambitious. On the uh, bounce though, sat up for him. Doesn't cross at the first instance. Weatherstone will. Green keeps it alive towards Farlett goes. We'll get it ahead of Rian Bray. Taking two men with him, Farlett. Jordan into Cargbo, got to keep it alive, he does. Carew, fancy the long range shot. Easy for Lovelock. He's the man who can hit them from that range. Joseph. Gets away from Ferguson, and that's a foul again, says the referee. God, I feel it'll be Joseph. It is. It's into the side, Nessing. Into the sanction behind the goal there. Edwards, watch all the way, I'm not sure if he was comfortable or not. I think he might have been struggling, you know, the goalkeeper. Green comes inside easily. So Dulles fans will hope to see more of it as the half progresses. And for fault. Can you find a shot perhaps? Yes, he can. Saved by Lovelock, but again, Dulwich creating a chance. That's what Mofamadou Fall will do on the field. Like Karou can score from distance. He's a confident lad and will back his ability to score from that sort of range. And we'll look to exploit the uh, Dulwich defence on the counter attack. You feel as Dulwich send more men forward. Edwards under pressure here. Lececci almost nicking off it. Crew's a lucky boy there. Ferguson searching for Farl. Bray gets in the way. Farl wanted a free kick. Crew off balance. Loses out to Muir. Fires in the shot. It's not far wide either. Edwards much more confident with that one. And the free kick from Joseph earlier in the half. Chasing a hat-trick. Entitled to go for goal. Yup. Twisting away from two. Here comes Murphy joining the attack from left back. Ashley Nathaniel George running at Ming. Tricky character showing his skill again. Echechi, Nathaniel George, lovely build-up play. Final shot didn't match that uh, build-up play, but well worked Hendon move. Just trying to wrap his foot around it, send it to the far corner. Not enough curl on the shot from Ashley Nathaniel George. Foul, found by Green. Challenge on him, but on he goes. Tenacious work from Mohamedou Fahl. Was pulled back, Dulwich free kick. This is exactly what they would need with Ashley Crew on the field. Dulwich fans expectant and they need something from their number 10. If he steps through the wall, Lovelock saves. Weatherstone trying to come in. 
as was Alassani, and the goalkeeper's done really well to gather that loose ball. So they're just going to hope for a rebound. Alassani in good goal scoring form, don't forget. Goals is last two appearances. Alassani, well, you know what he's capable of as well. Lovelock just about does enough. Good work from the substitute, and now he drives. And for Ferguson. Might get another go at Nathan Ferguson, found by Ming. Lovely ball down the line from Nathan Ferguson. Ming, in comes the cross. Towards far it went, Murphy hammers it away. Cargbo, it's the second wave of the attack like. Cargbo finds Ming on the flank. Ball inside for Ferguson. Deep cross, Lovelock has called it. And make sure he gathers. Good work from the goalkeeper, landed quite heavily. Sides with title credentials, they find a way in games of not playing well, of coming back and doing the unlikely. Seen what Billericke have done from losing positions this season, keep coming back and winning games. They just need to do something similar. And here's Nathaniel George. Bicecchi. Let's that one go to Nathaniel George this time, the number seven. Coming off the flank again as he's done time and time again tonight. That one's closer than his last effort, but it's over the top. Only got the curve on the ball this time, but couldn't keep his final shot down. There goes Nathaniel George, though. Mule takes over. Crew mops up for Dulwich. Nathaniel George caught again there. After the ball being played. Joseph delivers the free kick. Well defended. McLaren with the strike. Never troubling Preston Edwards. Always sailing harmlessly over. On the skipper. Dolly to bring another change. Cargbo is uh, coming off for Michael on of Wigan. Also seeing uh, Achin Pong on for Weatherstone. And then it's, uh, it's going to be Ricky Hales who moves up front. So this is very much plan B from Gavin Rose. It worked well at Harlow back in August. Hales could make the impact in the FA Trophy game at Harlow a few games ago. Ferguson for Ming. Here comes Farl. Held up by Sam Murphy. Can he work room for a cross, perhaps? Does cross. It's a decent ball in as well. Well defended. Arthur Lee. He could have gone anywhere, but it's headed behind for a corner. Big on of Wigan. I think he's going into that penalty area. No, he's not. Action Pong certainly will. Want to use his height, surely. Taylor's going forward. Hendon defending in numbers here. Great delivery in towards Green, it went. On of Wigan will keep it alive. Back off his heart, shuts hand ball. Here's a penalty. Not sure who was penalised there, but Dulwich given a huge bit of luck. Big appeals. Dulwich with a chance to half the deficit. Dulles just said they needed a bit of luck perhaps in this game. Crew's got to make the most of it now. Dulles has scored both penalties they've had this season. Mill scored his uh, penalty in the first half. I think DG was yellow carded there. Bit of a hush around the ground. Dulles need this to go in. There's the last 10 minutes. Puts it down the middle. Lovely. Spot kick from Ashley Carew. Gets his second of the game. And Dulwich have something to build on in the last 10 minutes. Waited for Lovelock to go down, put it high, down the middle. Two goals today for the number 10. 
third penalty he scored from three this season. Making sure all his teammates are back on side for sending downfield towards Farl it comes. Glances that on for Hales. Dunn would love to have maybe a free kick wide. Farl beats one challenge and a second. Hales trying to return the ball to his striker. Well, if we can half a touch. Taylor, Green. Chechi will head clear. Coming Carew's way though. Great delivery. It'll be a corner. Bray flicks behind. Dulwich press for an equaliser. Every Hendon man back to defend this. This needs to be brilliant from Carew. Get a pink head on it and find the back of the net. Crew into a whole host of players. Lovelock has done tremendously well to punch clear. And a Chechi. Try and wind down the clock. Setting that long. Ferguson has to go back to his keeper. Does well. Fall gets away from him. Hales takes over. Eggleton away. Had our four minutes. Now Taylor. Foul trying to flip on towards Alassani. Foul has it back for Dulwich again. Quade Taylor. And then Bencher furious at times. Not uh, finished. Alassani. And it's in! Dulwich do equalise right at the end! It's Ricky Hales! Of all people, the chance fell to him. Controversial, we've had almost five minutes added on. Look at the reaction on the Dulwich bench. Well, they scarcely believe it. They don't really deserve it. What a finish by Hales. Alassani did well just to hold on to the ball. Drop for Hales. It's gone high into the back of the net, the makeshift striker. Comes up with the goods for Dulwich. It'll be an ill-deserved point, but they will surely come away from Silver Jubilee Park with a share of the spoils this evening. You've got to feel for Hendon. Four minutes went up on the board, but it is, of course, a minimum of four minutes. And that is the full-time whistle. And Dulwich, get out of jail in a game where Hendon... We're deserving of all three points. They led 3-1 at the break. Two goals from Nico Muir after six minutes. He uh, gave them the lead. Nice uh, turn in the penalty area. Ashley Crew equalised his 50th goal for the club. Header at the far post. Dulwich, though, in the 17th minute, just two minutes after equalising, found themselves behind again. Zach Joseph with a cross. Tremendously met by Dave Deja. And then on the stroke of half-time, pretty much, Muir went down the penalty area. Conceded the penalty, Preston Edwards. And Muir stepped up to convert into the second half. Dulwich... Created half chances, but Hendon seemed comfortable until a handball in the uh, six-yard box allowed Carew to step up and convert a penalty with 10 minutes to go. And then deep, deep in injury time, five minutes almost on the clock in injury time. Ricky Hales, of all people, coming up with the goods for Dulwich. They've come away with a point this evening. Hendon won't be able to believe it. Final score at Silver Jubilee Park as Dulwich continue this unbeaten streak. Is Hendon three, Dulwich Hamlet three. Did you really believe you were going to get back into the game with 10 minutes to go? I think we made um, our substitutions, even though the two players that we brought on are not offensive players, it gave us an opportunity to throw more bodies forward. Um, we made our substitutions with that in mind to try and get back in the game. Obviously, uh, it was a tall order, um, <clears throat> but we still made the subs to try and get back in the game. So. Whilst you've got a chance, there's 15, 20 minutes left, I think, yeah, we, that's why we did it, yeah. Very much an off-port performance tonight, and you'll be the first to say that, but the resilience shown was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, it takes a lot of things to um, be successful. Um, it isn't about always being brilliant. You can't always be brilliant. We're, we're, we're all human. Um, so we know that at the end of the day, we're going to have bad games. Do you know what I mean? Uh, today was a, a really bad game for us. Uh, we'll take that. We understand that. But we got something out of it. We got... So we have against the team that are good. They don't concede a lot of goals here. I think something like three all season before tonight. And uh, we've, we've doubled that, you know. So on a bad night, 
we've still done something and no one else has done this season eh? Ricky, obviously it was just a point tonight, but does it feel like a win with that late goal? Uh, yeah, especially on the surface. I don't think we do too well on the 4G, so like anything out of that game from that performance, we're happy with. What was it like in that first half? Did you think you struggled with the, the bounce of the pitch, or was it the way that Hendon played, or was it just a poor performance from you lot? I don't think we did too well with the wind behind us, because it was just going all over the place. The ball just stopped, there was no movement on it, and it's just all around difficult, I think. Do you think you could have defended certainly for the third goal? I know you sort of misjudged the flight of the ball a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it was just a lack of communication. I see Preston coming. I would have volleyed it, but I saw him come, tried to hit it, the bounce, done me, and then unfortunately press carried on and we had a penalty against us. Do you think you did anything differently in the second half? Or was it just the wind in your favour that might have had a difference, or was it just the change of formation? I just think um, I just think we had to graft a bit more. I don't, I don't. First half. I don't think we worked hard enough. I thought like, we thought it was going to be a bit easier, but then we didn't take into consideration the conditions and the pitch. And then we came out and tried to work a bit harder, put, stick it to them and try and get something out of the game. What do you think you did so badly in that first half? Didn't turn up. We um, literally didn't get close enough to them. Uh, we didn't compete. We didn't win the first or second ball. Uh, basics in football, that were what you need to do at every level of football, and we didn't do that. Uh, we showed no hunger for the fight. Um, <coughs> players knew that. Um, in the second half, I wouldn't say we were drastically better, um, but we, we at least had a bit more resilience about us. And as it grew on, um, obviously making the subs, we felt it gave us a little bit of a chance to have a go at the end. You could see what it meant to you on the bench when Ricky scored that goal. It almost like you won the game. Yeah, definitely. I think more so for the fact that we started to fight. Um, the celebration that says, yeah, the significance of the goal was good, but obviously we started to fight in the game and the characteristics that I do like in my team. And probably people think that we just want to pass it, but you know, we like people to have a go as well and, and have a bit of fight about them. And then it was pleasing to see that we had started to rise to the occasion as the game went on. Um, and obviously it culminated in the last goal. How much do you enjoy having that role as a striker in the last minutes of the game? It's not the first time you've done it this season? No, it's not the first time. I hope it's not the last. It's always... I love, I love defending, that's in my nature, but it's always nice to go and do a bit of attack and get a winner and a goal as well. How does that rank to goals you scored down there? Is that one of your better ones on your right foot there? Uh, yeah, it was a great finish, top, top corner. A few people have a few things to say about it, but I'm, I'm taking it as a great finish. 12 games I'm beating in the league now tonight, massive result just to continue that run. Yeah, just to continue the run, keep the morale going in the changing room. Yeah, it's, it's massive for us. We know the, the competition we have in the league this year, so we know that um, our own levels need to be high. Um, we, we can't afford to lose games. Uh, today, you may say that's like a loss, but at the end of the day, so I say it's a point gained, especially in the circumstances where Hendon, I would say, deserved the points tonight. Um, <clears throat> but we'll take the point all day long. I thought we deserved the three points at Dulwich against Hendon, and they nicked it at the end. So that's how football goes. Uh, you know, it's just football, and we'll take it.